A particular shout out today to Gavin from Facebook on recommending the whiskey for uh, today's video. And actually now that I come to think of it, Lorcan, who uh, was also on Facebook singing this whiskey's praises during the week. Let's drink some whiskey. Another brand new whiskey released from Thomas Connolly's pub in Sligo. This is their brand new single cask from Athru Irish Whiskey. This is the Athru Single Malt Ruby Port Cask Finish. Now, if you think back and you're a fan of the channel, April of last year, I had, um, at the time, their new six-year-old triple cask single malt. And a year later, we, well, roughly a year later, we now have the seven-year-old triple casked single malt, but with a Ruby Port finish. If you have a bit of Thomas Connolly's pub in Sligo, I would highly recommend a trip. Great hospitality, great selection of beers and nearly 200 Irish whiskies in behind the bar for you to try. Well, I mean, it was nearly 200 last time I was there, I think, which was, you know, a while ago. Their last single cask release was from Loch Gill Distillery, or, Distillery, or it was um, a source whiskey, I believe, originally from Drum Shambo, if my memory serves me correct, or the shed at PJ Rigney's place. I'm guessing this is the exact same. I don't know for certain. Now, the website says that this is roughly the same deal as before. We have first fill ex bourbon into Oloroso, and then, unlike the previous releases, this is finished for a period in Ruby Port casks. I have no idea for how long. Now, I love Ruby Port, and I love even more that this whiskey is bottled at a very respectable 59.9%. This packs in serious punch. And for the privilege of trying that 59.9%, you pay 100 quid for a bottle of your hard earned euros. Now, is that a bad price? I don't know. Um, it seems to be right where these single cast pub releases of this age are kind of settling in at the moment. Personally, I think that the prices uh, with Irish whiskey as a whole is just gone crazy anyway. I can get, this is, look, this is what we can expect to see moving forward. Now, for some of you that might not be aware, Loch Gill Distillery in Sligo was recently purchased by Sazerac, I believe, um, in the mid to late end of last year. And I spoke all about that distillery in my last Thomas Connolly video, which I will link above for you to watch. Check it out, there's a bit of info there. Now, to the very best of my knowledge, this is the second single cask release that is of cask strength from Thomas Connolly's. Their very first release was a cast strength also, but of extremely limited numbers. I think it was around in between 60 to 80. There are 320 bottles in this release. And I bought a bottle last night, so they're still very much available. The link below to Thomas Connolly's website, should you decide to have a look, see their offerings and purchase a bottle. Now, before you do, and this is a complete and total disclaimer, I am not affiliated with the pub or distillery in any way, shape or form. I'm not getting paid or endorsed to say anything here. I did buy a bottle for the pub to replace this bottle that the pub did buy and then I was meant to take a little sample out of it and I ended up getting to know it on a personal level, if you will. Yeah, well, basically what I'm trying to say is all thoughts are my own. We pour. You know, giving the, the whiskey a chance to breathe. I'm not sure exactly how long this has spent in a ruby pork cask, but it is seven years of age, 59.9% ABV, 100 euro, available only through the Thomas Connolly website and the pub itself, 320 bottles, and it's triple distilled single malt, to the best of my knowledge. I think it's the same as the previous one. Bottle December of 2022, and this is bottle number 276. I've given this a couple of moments to uh, breathe a little bit. It does tend to do a little bit better on the nose and the palate. I find that this ABV is just if you let it sit in the glass for a little while and just breathe. Um, does your, do yourself a favor and just allow that to happen. As with a lot of whiskeys I'm doing lately, it seems to be the same thing. They're just kind of, the more you leave them, the better they open up, obviously. So give it some time. On the nose. All right, so we have some cinnamon spice to kick things off first. Initial impressions on the first nosing are it's lush, it's juicy, it's woody. Definitely some raisins in there, uh, kind of luscious, juicy raisins thing, I just said that, but definitely there's a chocolate note in there also. And um, I do recall the last time I had it, I was talking to the lads, there's definitely some, some sultana. And it, uh, like a real kind of subtle nutty note in there too. Now it is quite spicy, I will say that. Uh, could be a tad overwhelming for some, um, but overall, I would say that this is a medium complexity kind of style of whiskey. And like I said at the start, if you give it more time, 
it does open up that little bit more. And this is just kind of evolving. Um, yeah, very juicy, very lush. No hint of kind of youth here for those that might be kind of curious about a seven year old whiskey. I'm not really getting too much now. Just woody notes, raisins, lushiness, juiciness, nuttiness. On the palate, it's launcha. That cinnamon spice carries through from the nose to the palate throughout. It's oily, it's nutty, it's woody. Touch on the drying side. It's definitely nutty. Touch bitter. Um, touch of bitterness there. Another sup, cilantro. Yeah, getting some raisins again. And now second time around, some juicy stone kind of fruits that kind of Oloroso notes a little bit coming through there, but the port seems to be like the raisiny note seems to be kind of coming through more prevalent. Um, definitely a bit of praline, kind of that nuttiness praline, kind of chocolatey mixed note too. Medium complexity, again, borderline full, I would say, and a touch of caramel. On the finish, that spice is following through. It's quite warming, it's holding on for dear life. It's coated the entire palette. A little bit drying. That bitterness note from the palate is still carrying through to the finish and just kind of clouding it a touch. There's definitely some woody notes there that are hanging on as well. And kind of an after caramel note, like a kind of an aftertaste of a caramel kind of notiness there as well. So stand by for my thoughts. Now, I think that is a fine example of a seven-year-old port finish Irish whiskey and Irish single moth. I think 100 euros a touch on the high side, if I'm completely honest, but uh, really good. Don't get me wrong there, but the bitterness, and I'm being super critical here, the bitterness that followed through from the palate to the finish is a bit too much for me. That, do you know what? It is and it isn't. Um, the finish does die off a little bit on the quick side, but I did drink half this bottle and I suppose the more I kind of get into it, the more I find that that bitter note just kind of hinders me a little bit, just a touch, but that's being super critical. Yeah, even going back to it now, with some time this opens up like with a really, really lovely, lush, woody, juicy nose, uh, plenty of complexity there between the nose and the palate. Um, the mouth feels quite oily. Like I said, it is a bit short on the finish. I don't know what I spent another hundred euros on it. I did have to replace the one here in the bar that I took for a sample. I'm on the fence with it, but I possibly would because it was port finished and I just love port finished whiskey. So yeah, I have my thoughts. Now, in complete fairness and honesty, I already did spend hundred euros on this one. Like I said, to replace the one in the pub. So would I spend another hundred? I am not entirely sure. On the moment, maybe not. Now, for those who don't normally drink cash strength whiskey, I think this definitely won't vibe with them. Um, it is packing a punch in terms of spice and heat that might put some newbies off. Um, but by all means, I do highly recommend you try it first if you have access to it. And luckily for those in Kilkenny, there is another bottle on the way to replace this one that I've taken. Should be here today. So what does that mean? It means it's in Christie's for you to try if you can't get to Sligo. You're welcome. Only another day or two, it will be on the menu here. And of course, you know yourself, Thomas Connolly's in Sligo. If you're ever up there, stop in, tell them all I said hello. Try the pints, try the whiskey, great selection. Now that is indeed all for me this week. Thanks to Gavin and again Lorcan for recommending I try this. Uh, more whiskeys coming next week. And uh, yeah, we'll go something big after this one, I think. Port as well, I'll let you think what it is. If you think you know, leave a comment down below in the comments section. Chat next time, Whiskey Chaser, out. Slauncha. Thank you.